Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Magnetism is a fascinating phenomenon. Simply put, magnetism is a strong force of attraction created by electric currents. Today, we know all about magnets and magnetic fields, but to ancient people, it must have seemed like magic. We all remember playing with magnets in science classes, and you have to admit, it was a curious and fun activity. Yet they contribute so much more than entertainment. Magnetism and electromagnetism have countless applications, from electric appliances and tech gadgets to nuclear fusion. We know what you're thinking. That's a broad spectrum. The way we use magnets very much depends on their strengths. In this video, we've gathered together all the most powerful and interesting magnets in the world. But before we dive in, hear this. The strength of a magnet is calculated by many different factors. The one we review here is the intensity of the magnetic field created, measured in Teslas or Gauss. Number 10. The MRI, University of Minnesota. Magnets have another useful application, advancing healthcare, and some monster magnets have been proven more successful than others. At the University of Minnesota, the scientists for the Center of Magnetic Resonance Research invented the most advanced MRI scanner in the world. Running a magnetic field of 10.5 Teslas, the scanner is 10 times more powerful than the standard MRI machine. To be honest, it took scientists more than 10 years to build this amazing magnet project. It started with an $8 million grant from the National Institute of Health. It then took years to prepare the magnet for operations by cooling conductors and configuring electronics. And we expect to see more exciting developments with this one as the team received grants to further push the boundaries of brain imaging. Number 9. The Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer Let's venture to space for a while, shall we? All the way to the International Space Station where another powerful magnet operates. The Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, or AMS for short, is essentially a particle physics detector. Its mission is to look for dark matter, antimatter, and missing matter, but also to measure cosmic rays. But what role does the magnet play? At its heart, the AMS has a permanent magnet in the form of a one-meter-long cylinder made from no less than 6,000 blocks of neodymium alloy. As a result, the AMS has a magnetic field 3,000 times stronger than that of the Earth, bending the trajectory of the cosmic particles that go through the space station. As it does, it can read information about the charges of these particles and send it to Earth. And while most of these particles are the average protons and electrons, from time to time antimatter such as positrons slide in. In studying the flux in positrons at higher energies, scientists propose the theory that dark matter may have interfered, producing excess protons. Although the prospect of finding evidence for dark matter is exciting, these remain unproven, yet controversial theories. Number 8. Neodymium Magnets Another celebrity of the scientific community is the neodymium magnet. This is the strongest magnet material that generates a magnetic field through its internal structure, which we call a permanent magnet. To understand them better, let's see how they work. Neodymium magnets are made of a powerful alloy including neodymium, iron and boron. They are made of rare earth elements. These are not your everyday magnets. It's the electrons in the rare elements that allow strong magnetic fields to form. What's particularly handy about the neodymium magnets is their magnetic fields are so strong that they require very small sizes, making the magnets cheaper. This results in multiple applications. In fact, we wouldn't be listening to music in our high-fidelity earphones without the use of neodymium magnets. However, no single magnet can be perfect. The hazards with these are quite diverse. They can erase the magnetic stripe of our credit cards, shatter one another if they collide, or interfere with a pacemaker. Yes, neodymium magnets need not be taken lightly. Number 7. Magnetic Levitation A strange concept you may not have heard of is magnetic levitation. Maglev, for short, is not a recent idea. In the 1960s, a pair of scientists received a patent for a magnetically levitated train design that promised to revolutionize transportation. We know, this is the stuff of magic. And to think that the Hogwarts Express in Harry Potter was just a steam train. But since this early idea, commercial maglev trains have been introduced across Asia, in countries such as Japan and South Korea. 
It works like this. Due to superconducting magnets repelling each other, the train is suspended five inches above the concrete guideway. These trains are playing at a completely new level. They are faster, they don't need a conductor as they are controlled by the network, they have no rail friction, they don't use fossil fuels, and, oh, let's not forget, they float on an air cushion. Number 6. Rail Guns Next up, let's see a military application for magnets. Enter the gun of the future, the rail gun. The stuff of nightmares if you look at it, the gun is using magnets to accelerate the bullet firing, making it faster than the average gun. For that purpose, rail guns need very powerful currents. When it comes to its application in the Navy, engineers say that the next generation battleship will be able to produce the sort of current by diverting power temporarily from the engine to the gun turret. But while in theory rail guns sound like the perfect weapons, there are still some issues that need fixing. For example, they generate intense heat as the electric current meets resistance in the rails, even causing the melting of the rails. Moreover, as the current runs in the opposite direction in each rail, a repulsive force is created, sometimes breaking the gun after just one use. Number 5. The Large Hadron Collider There are renowned magnets and then there are the crown jewels. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful and largest particle accelerator, has made headlines since 2008. But did you know it's made largely of superconducting electromagnets? You know it by now. The kind of magnets that need to be chilled at minus 270 degrees Celsius. Yes, it's true. The LHC has 1,232 15-meter dipole magnets and 392 5-meter quadruple magnets lined in a 27-kilometer ring. All these magnets are used to direct high-energy particle beams through the tubes close to the speed of light in order to collide with each other. The research made through the LHC has been groundbreaking. In 2012, researchers announced the discovery of the Higgs boson, verifying the standard model of physics theory that studies the interaction of particles and forces. These particular magnets are helping humanity understand the universe. Number 4. The Los Alamos National Laboratory Pulsed Magnet Talking about world record-breaking magnets, the largest pulsed magnet of the Los Alamos National Laboratory managed to pass the 100 Tesla barrier. Its achievement of 100.75 Tesla magnetic pulse is basically 2 million times larger than our planet's magnetic field. Can you grasp that? The magnet maintained the pulse for around 15 milliseconds, and if you think that's not too much, well, you're wrong. The previous explosions causing magnetic fields lasted 2,000 times less. This was a huge achievement. To reach it, engineers had to create a structure that controls heat and pressure resulting from the current traveling through the magnetic coils. Number 3. The Wendelstein 7X Stellarator Magnets have also been used to research future energy sources. Take nuclear, for example. The Wendelstein 7X is the largest fusion device worldwide designed to study the suitability of stellarators for power plants. Wait, what was a stellarator again? A stellarator machine is meant to manage excessive temperature from the hot plasma. It does so by using magnetic fields that can control and sustain the nuclear fusion reaction. Several modern experiments using stellarators were condoned, but the most notable ones were in Germany, where the Wendelstein 7X operates, the US and Japan. Wendelstein 7X produced the first successful plasma in 2015. Such devices could help us reach a safe and affordable way of accessing a potentially limitless energy source, nuclear. Number 2. Bessie Synchrotron Radiation Source At the Helmholtz Zentrum Berlin Institute, scientists are using the astonishing power of magnets to research solutions for current and future challenges. For instance, scientists are exploring the relationship between the macroscopic and microscopic properties of materials to help devise better materials and drugs. One utilization of these materials is to ensure a sustainable energy supply. Think of converting solar energy into molecular hydrogen, an energy carrier. The Institute's Bessie 2, a third-generation synchrotron radiation source, is designed to produce bright X-ray light to help this research. Essentially, Bessie is an electron storage ring by accelerating electrons at near light speed. The energy created is electromagnetic radiation, 
which is then redirected through beam tubes to the stations where scientists need to perform their experiments. And number one, the 45 Tesla hybrid magnet. That being said, what if we started with the holder of a Guinness World Record? Meet the 45 Tesla hybrid magnet of Florida State University's Magnetic Field Laboratory, or MagLab. A special thing about it is hidden in its name, the enormous intensity of its magnetic field, 45.5 Teslas. Not sure what to compare this achievement to? Just know that your adorable fridge magnets only get to 1% of a single Tesla. The 45 Tesla hybrid magnet is one of the very few hybrids in the world. It successfully combines a resistive magnet of 33.5 Teslas and a superconducting magnet of 11.5 Teslas. The record-breaking magnet does not come at a small price. In fact, it eats huge amounts of natural resources and money. Don't take our word for it. Check out these figures yourself. It uses 15,142 litres of water per minute. It requires technology to keep the temperature of its superconducting magnet at minus 271 degrees Celsius, and it uses copper wiring that could source 80 homes. That's some serious level of maintenance. But hey, one doesn't break records without putting in the effort. I hope you enjoyed our journey through the world's most powerful magnet. If one thing is clear, it's that magnets are essential cogs in the modern world's machine. Let us know of any other interesting findings in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.